Hello. Hi. My name is Kevin. Yeah, and um, I'm a musician in Dundee, and I've been here. Well, I've been a musician in Dundee since 1997. Playing a variety of bands. This band's called Leto. This was one of the bands that I first started out in. I played in Esprit, played in a Ian e. McCauley trio, and I'm currently playing Fat Goth. And it's all about when people think about um, being a musician, you get signed to a record label, and it's, uh, well, it's not really about that. It's about being as independent as you possibly can, keeping your creative endeavours um, as true as you as you possibly can. But this is this is the band Leo. There's Andrew, myself, Robbie, and Fraser, and we had a little bit of uh, success in the late '90s, where record labels came to us. We had interest from Sony Records and um, another record label called Independiente, who had uh, Travis um, and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, and then. We got to play with lots of cool bands, at the Drive-In, La Savi Fav, uh, Fugazi. Fugazi was a band I just emailed, then they asked us to play with us, and we toured with Nationwide with Idlewild. This is us playing with Snow Patrol, there's Lyle. Yeah, because he came with us. And then this is my band, Fat Goth. Um, there's me playing bass, I sing, and I've got some kind of crazy hair thing going on the go. And there's uh, Fraser Stewart and Mark Killer, and we're uh, yeah, a kind of a punk rock band, a kind of scuzz rock band. We play influences of rockabilly and uh, jazz. Um, yeah, like uh, it's not very, not really very metal. Um, this band, this band's the Jesus Lizard, and that guy there is David Yao. We, we were very much into Nirvana um, when we were younger, and that was a gateway drug of music, essentially, to other bands such as the Jesus Lizard, the Melvins, Fugazi, the Bottle Surfers, Sonic Youth, Black Flag, Husker Du, the Dead Kennedys. Um, yeah, we're not really fans of metal or twee indie rock. But we do everything ourselves, entirely ourselves. No record label, everything's done ourselves. This is our um, uh, practice space in the community center in Dundee in the Grow Lodge. We have bought all our own gear with um, the jobs that we have. We practice all the time, constantly, sometimes 12 hours a week, just trying to get better continually, you know. Uh, rather than rehearsal, it's uh, band practice. This is the front cover of our second album. It's kind of an ironic, self-deprecating humor uh, thing we have with our band, because at the time, all members were newly single, so we thought, you know, why not make an album that was all about uh, trying to woo other people with the guys pissed himself and, you know, not feeling... feeling. But um, for some strange reason, we had interest from Crime magazine. So um, we, we did all this ourselves. We organized our own photo shoot. We wore stupid jumpers. We made that stupid horse. It is actually literally filled with mints and wandered around the, city, the streets of Edinburgh with it. And um, yeah, they, they reviewed our album and it, it, was, it was very good. So we did this other photo shoot here where it's about the irony of, oh wow, we've made it. So we're throwing money everywhere, having celebratory drinks, you know. Um, yeah, it's all meant to be slightly tongue in cheek, the whole, the whole thing with the band. So um, yeah, this was in part of a Karai magazine, uh, their photo shoot. And for some strange reason, they put us in a, Pandora, and Pandora Peroxide was a, a, a comic strip in Crying magazine that I was a big fan of when I was younger. Um, and yeah, they, they picked us up, they picked us. And um, I'm saying something about I have a pocket full of dead flies. And it was just very, very, very bizarre. So when we toured, we went down to London, we got to meet Ray Zell, and he told us that Crying basically picks, well no, Ray picks whatever he wants from an, an issue of Crying, and he saw our picture with the horse's head and he just drew it, you know, um, and uh, yeah, he just, just, he seems to really like our band, so it was very nice. So for some strange reason, um, they did it again, just like uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were in uh, Kerrang again, the Pandora Peroxide um, strip, and yeah, they were saying that um, a Dundee trio, um, that we were um, hot tip for 2014, like, yeah, our band, it was very, very bizarre and very strange, but as you do uh, with things, you with a band, you go on tour, we um, rent our own van, we move our own gear, we don't have any roadies, anything like that. We do everything ourselves. We book our own shows, we, book, um, we deal with um, a variety of venues, variety of promoters. Um, and we toured all the way down um, all of UK last year, uh, and we got to play lots of festival dates. This, this is from the Arctangent Festival, which is um, on the very south coast of uh, the UK. And we played to the biggest crowd that we did over the summer, and it was almost a thousand people. And that's a very cool um, festival that plays to quite a sympathetic audience of, of people who are into very strange music. And uh, tying in with a lot of the stuff about doing things yourself and being proactive, this is a band called Torch from uh, Miami, and we love them, absolutely love them, a big influence on us. 
And we got speaking on Twitter to that guy over there, who's the guitar player, Andrew Joseph, and they asked us to go on tour with them. So we went down again all over the UK playing shows with them. And um, the last thing that we did before uh, doing stuff is, this is the, uh, the lineup from the Human Is Not Alone uh, benefit gigs for the Marie Curie Cancer uh, Care. Um, Human Is Not Alone is in the later song. Um, Robbie Cooper was diagnosed with cancer in 2011. And we put out an album that also featured um, bands that we played with for years, you know, like Fugazi put a song on the album, on the, on the album and all that kind of stuff. So we, with, we're still trying to be independent. We made a little bit more money, but we did another album um, that we did in January. So this is just a picture of us recording. Um, we could spend a little bit more money on it. Um, we recorded the basic tracks in about 10 hours, but like with every kind of creative project, you spend only a few hours making the basics things, and then you spend hours, we spent about seven days tweaking this things essentially, like uh, remixing stuff, putting on different overdubs and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so this is recorded in Shame Studios by Ross McGowan. He, um, th this, we, we did everything digitally on the Pro Tools, but when Leo did stuff, um, we, uh, anyway. This is the front cover of the album. The album's called 100% Suave, and that picture I showed you before of David Yao from the Jesus Lizard, uh, he did the front cover. So it was like a bit of a um, fan service because we rip off the Jesus Lizard. We love them so much and we sound just like them. So we got him to do it and he did the front cover. So here is uh, uh, another thing from <laughs> um, the photo shoot for promoting this stupid album that we have coming out in May. And it's all meant to be ironic when, like, you know, hey, we're big Rex box stars or something like that, but it's all very tongue in cheek. And uh, yeah, it's called 100% <laughs> yeah, smile. Yeah, there we go.